Snipers, you have to see what's happening under the Bitcoin price today is it's turnaround Tuesday and it's not a coincidence that Bitcoin has stopped at the major support at 58,300 where we also have confluence with the 50 day moving average exactly as we talked about yesterday as the worst case scenario if we were to break down from the $63,300 level. But with this extremely important support level being tested, remember what I said two days ago that this was a very significant area because if Bitcoin does break down from 58,300, there's a 15% gap down to 49,700 as the next potential downside target. And so this is a very important area for Bitcoin. And we're going to start looking at some of the micro time frames because now that we're testing 58,300, we can look inside of the five minute chart just to see how volume has come in for the first test of this extremely important support level. And that will give us an indication of how much strength there is right now at this area. And notice here how when we first came down to test 58,300, we didn't necessarily see the type of buy volume compared to the amount of sell pressure that came in. There was a lot of sell pressure, maybe institutional sell pressure, but there wasn't buyers to equate to this. And now we're coming down for a second time, but we're seeing some more buyers than sellers right now. So this does tell us that we could potentially have a break here at 58,300 and move sideways, potentially even come up and test this monthly open at 61,300 before we're really going to get an answer as to whether or not Bitcoin is going to continue further down from 58,300 or if we're going to eventually see Bitcoin back above its monthly open, because that's going to be the most important resistance level right now in the range that we're in, which we could consider 61,300 as the major resistance. And of course, 58,300 is the major support. And I talked about this yesterday on the six hour chart. If we were to come down to test 58,300, which we already did, what I'm going to be looking for is the type of volume that we saw here when Bitcoin initially topped out at 69,000. But instead of sell pressure, I'd like to see the same amount of volume with buyers. And so until we start to see volume that can equate to this type of institutional sell pressure, in my opinion, we cannot assume that Bitcoin has yet bottomed out with this downside move so far. And so I think that that's very important to address here. And if we were to go into this weekly chart, we're going to have to start watching this 20 week moving average. If we break 58,300, it's also not a coincidence that it's sitting right at the next major level at 49,700. So that's also a big puzzle piece on the table with this downside move. And as I talked about yesterday, we always wait for full four hour confirmations below major level. But a lot of times when the break is to the downside, you'll see the elevator get taken. And that's exactly what happened yesterday. We didn't get to even get that four hour confirmation before we already came below the sixty one thousand dollar level. And so the monthly open is going to be huge, not just for Bitcoin. But as we move into what's happening to Ethereum, notice here how Ethereum is actually showing more weakness than Bitcoin, seeing more of a percentage of downside after breaking down from this major structural level following Bitcoin's path. And now you can see we're also below this monthly open below 4373, which is also an extremely important level. And so the next level for Ethereum is going to be 3959 as a major support. And you can see with the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart, I said that the biggest thing with Bitcoin dominance potentially moving up in the more macro term is that we'll potentially see altcoins fall further than Bitcoin. I think it's a very big puzzle piece that Bitcoin made it below the monthly open because now we know that's the major resistance. So if we get above the monthly open at 61,400, that would be the most positive case. And as I promised you guys, if we were going to see this downside scenario, we were going to start taking short positions. So we have the number one cryptocurrency discord group in the world. And we did take a short position today on V chain. It's a self stop order. So this is waiting for a breakdown right now. And we're getting a lot of people in our community talking about the price action. We have the number one community in the world. And so that's exciting to see. And I want to talk about what's happening to traditional markets, because a lot of this is going to really come together when we look at the DXY pushing up once again to form new highs and it 
actually broke a major resistance with this push up telling me that this is actually a very strong move to the upside DXY is currently experiencing after we saw those inflation numbers come out a few days ago. And so this is what we've been tracking. And then we've also been tracking the gold to Bitcoin chart, which if you notice here with the gold to Bitcoin chart, this is going to be a huge puzzle piece to monitor over the next few days because it's potentially coming up to test this 50 day moving average. And if you remember what happened on April 14th and Bitcoin hit 64,000 for the first time, when we got above this 50 day moving average, we knew here on the Sniper's channel that that was potentially a short term top, which it actually was a short term top for almost six months before we finally saw the higher high form at 69,000 recently. And so notice here how we were watching this chart to see whether or not we'd form further lows. We didn't. And now we're coming towards this 50 day moving average. If we get above it, that is going to say that Bitcoin potentially could have seen a higher high here at 69,000. And it's going to be some time before we see further upside. But if we don't get above the 50 day moving average of the gold to Bitcoin chart and we break these lows, that will confirm that there's more fuel for Bitcoin to continue to price discovery. And then notice here with the S&P 500, in reaction to this DXY, it's actually not necessarily showing weakness, but we failed to break the previous all time high here. And so that's a puzzle piece for now. We want to monitor whether or not this is going to continue to see new all time highs, because if it does, that would actually be a good thing for Bitcoin. But if we start to see this top out and come back down towards the monthly open, that would be a negative puzzle piece for the cryptocurrency market. So Bitcoin dominance as well, just so you guys can see here is also back above this 100 day moving average and it's starting to form these higher lows as we've been watching. So it looks like it's healthy and it's looking a lot healthier than Ethereum to Bitcoin chart, which is kind of doing the opposite, forming these lower highs. And so that's going to be something to just continue to watch. And that confirms our thesis that the altcoins outside of Ethereum are potentially also going to follow that Ethereum to Bitcoin chart. You can see also forming these lower highs and it typically follows the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart because Ethereum is the leading altcoin and then not much going on with international markets. I would say that the Euro 100 did form some new yearly highs today. That's something that we want to notate. But remember the European markets have been the weakest international markets over the last year to two. And so it's not necessarily a surprise to see it moving up right now. It's about time, actually, that the Euro 100 is starting to move up and you can see gold here with the DXY pushing up I actually saw a little bit of a pullback. And so that's something to note here. The DXY will affect the prices of assets. You can see it's affecting oils price right now below the weekly and monthly open. So a lot of big things to watch. And I think the biggest thing is going to be the Bitcoin support here at fifty eight thousand three hundred. If we get above the monthly open at 61,300, that could be a confirmation that we'll start to see further upside. So that's going to be the most important range to monitor here right now on the smaller time frames. It doesn't necessarily look too good at 58,300. That's definitely something I want to mention just based on how we saw that volume come in. And just keep in mind that with Bitcoin seeing any downside, all coins will most likely bleed further against Bitcoin just due to the fact that the Bitcoin dominance chart is moving in an uptrend. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a little bit late. I just really wanted to ensure that I had all of the content for you guys after seeing this downside move that we predicted yesterday. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to smash the like button. Let's hit 100 likes. And until next time, snipers.